Hello lovely people and welcome to Trinket Corner. First of all, we are over a thousand and I cannot thank you enough. For that wonderful occasion and because it's already spring, today I will show you how I made a lovely notebook cover with a little fairy inside. I fill in my silicone mold with air drying clay and while it's still wet I cut off the excess. I also cut off her wings, because I will be making new translucent wings from UV resin. I place large pieces of glitter inside the wings and for the top layer I mix UV resin with color shifting luminous powder. When the clay is dry, I paint the fairy. I prime her with gesso and start painting. I attach her wings using super glue. My butterfly mold is too small and detailed and if I use air drying clay it won't catch all the details. It's also very difficult to paint it. So I'm going to use UV resin to create a butterfly. I dry the butterfly from both sides and then fill in the empty nooks with different color. I want to create an illusion that we are watching through the window and seeing a fairy. I'm going to be using old phone cover package to secure my fairy and create the window. I'm going to be using a plastic package for phone cover. I printed a forest scenery to use it as background. I attach it to the cover of the notebook. I make sure that my fairy and butterfly fit inside the window. Then I trace my window area and start decorating inside with flowers and artificial plants.
I use double-sided scotch tape to attach the plastic because hot glue would probably melt it. I cut a bunch of styrofoam bricks and hot glue them on the cover. I apply one layer of PVA glue over styrofoam to make it firm and sturdy. I start with a layer of darker color to fill in all nooks and crevices. Then I dry brush using light gray. And finally, I give it a black wash using mixture of water, black paint and PVA glue. I hot glue little straight branches to form a window frame. It also helps to cover any ugly seams that you may have. I paint the rest of the cover from inside and outside and reattach internal pages. This is the final result. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys soon.